Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Guillermo Auto. This is a 2014 Chevy Spark. I'm doing a front bumper on it. Um, I recommend you could watch the video all the way through before you start. Basically, you want to come to the top and get these clips off first. Uh, we're going to start easy. Uh, let's get these clips. You can get a flathead and get in here and you lift up the top part of it. There's a little slot on each one and you could get in there with a flathead and just push up the top part just like this. And uh, as you can see, this part's still in there. You just pop that part out next. Um, the ones that have a slot that are hard to get to, you could just twist these until you get find a good spot you can get to it. Once you get the top part out, you could just pop the bottom part out. And then uh, you're going to hold on to these. Try not to break them because they're uh, important to reattach the new one. There's all these ones here. And there's also one under this black rubber piece. Okay. Um... Once you get those out, you want to come to the side. There's going to be two clips on the side of the uh, bumper here, attaching it to the fender wheel. They're the same black clips. There's two of them. So we're going to go ahead and get those out. Use a flathead as well. I'm going to go ahead and get mine out. And uh, here's what it looks like when they're out. You just pop them out. These might be a little more stubborn, uh, but they're the same. Then um, after that, we're going to come underneath and get these screws undone. These screws that are attaching the bumper. To the car uh, see here mine are missing two and then this one's broke um, this this one's broke so I mean it may look a little different but I think I'm only missing like three screws so yours will have three screws most likely um, so I'm going to go ahead and get these screws out along the bottom they're either a seven millimeter or a uh, screwdriver so you get them out and then of course mine's broke but yours will probably have the spot here where you get them out right here too then you want to come up top and there's a hidden torques behind here you gotta get out see if i were to just pull this i would break it uh, in fact i didn't even notice there was one underneath here until i saw pulling on it basically right there it's a little torx bolt which means that it just takes a torque socket to get that out i don't know why they just didn't make it a different like a regular phillips but whatever um basically it's going to be a torx 20 a t20 i believe if if you're uh, in a bind a t15 will work to get it out but it is t20 all right, so you get that out, and then you should be able to pull this out. You just want to be gentle and pull it out. There you go. Uh, do this for both sides. I'm not going to show you doing the other side. Just do the same thing on the other side, and then get that side out as well. So once we have the sides released, the top released, and the bottom released, it should come right out. Let's see. Just gently pull on it. If something's still attached, you know something's like it's not just coming off like this. I mean, you'll get a little resistance, but you should be able to pull it off. Uh, just check to see if maybe you missed a screw or a clip or something. All right, so we got that out. Here's my new one. Um, show you the part number. This is from GM. So this is the part number for it. Yeah, basically, uh, it doesn't come painted. It doesn't come with all the other attachments on it. I'm not, this is how it looks. It's stripped. I got to take everything off the old one and put it on the new one. I'm not going to show you how to do every little thing, but I will show you. Um, like just the gist of doing it basically all this stuff comes off you get these clips undone and some of them have um screws holding them on to the bumper as well these are basically just like just the vents and the grills and stuff uh they all have like this one has screws basically just get these screws out and undo the clips and these will these will pop right off and then you just attach them to the other bumper same with the foam bumper you get that off um so you just get this stuff off and switch it to the other bumper if i showed you how to, if me doing every single one then it would just make this video like 15 minutes longer so i'm not going to show you but yeah just switch even these down here switch these over and uh make it look like make your new bumper look like your old bumper as far as like all the vents and the emblem that's just two screws it's easy it's really easy it's not that bad it's just time consuming um as a tip uh when you get these off the uh, emblem has a little sticky stuff on it uh, the new bumper doesn't come with sticky stuff to put on there, but I, uh, when I put this on my new bumper, this, the two screws will hold it on tight just fine. Like it's it's fine, so don't don't worry. And uh, also, the foam bumper is held in by these clips right here. Uh, these are real easy to get off. I just took uh, some needle nose and just gently grabbed them and pulled them off. I just kind of wiggled them off, kind of like blocked it off the plastic uh, stud that it's on, and then it, that's it. That's all it's holding this foam bumper on. And this just comes right off then you put it on make sure you put it on the way that it's on the old bumper though like direction wise also switch these clips over if you need them to attach stuff um, a tip when you're getting these clips out 
if, if you want to use a needle nose and just push them out like that um, using your fingers can get make your fingers hurt after a while but anyways here's the old bumper as you can see I took everything off and put on the new bumper again not hard just time-consuming but uh, if you gotten this far then you should be able to do it fine um, yep so we got everything on even these uh, down here get these on and I would recommend not not uh, you know skipping any of these I have to get them all on okay so now my bumper is all assembled now I'm just gonna uh, put it on the car uh, you don't have to wrestle it just a little bit um, don't force anything in make sure the bottom tabs aren't hitting like if it's not lining up basically it's, it's just kind of like a wrestling match it's like you'll get the top lined up and then the bottom won't be lined up or it won't be pushing in you just gotta make sure everything's lined up right and when it's lined up right um, then you just push the sides in into the the white clip that's attached to the vehicle like on the sides and it should hold it in place and you can put the clips in and everything so uh, I got it all all lined up and put these clips back in looks like there's about six it could I think that's about how many let's see one got that one in two and you put the bottom piece in first three and then you put the top piece in and push it down four five six all right so that's easy top part secured and then over here on the side if you remember we had this torque screw we just put this one back in right over here and uh, you'll do this for both sides just put this torque screw back in and uh, just gently screw it in until it's tight you don't have to take it down to where it's like extremely tight because it'll probably just strip out but uh, yep get that in and get our, our clips in make sure the fender well is very important the fender well is lined up and then you get the fender well attached to the vehicle if your clips broke uh, just maybe zip tie it or find a different way to secure it because if that fender well is, is flopping around more than likely your, your wheel is going to catch it and then pull it out of the vehicle and now that, that would suck um, all right so let's attach these bottom screws these are important okay so get your screws back in on the bottom remember these are seven millimeter or Phillips uh, like I said mine were missing two spots over here so I use these clips I got two clips to push in there and secure it um, you can get the fasteners in the screw. I just don't have them and I just put these in these will hold it just fine and uh, Yep, so that's it guys. Hope this video helped you out. Please like comment subscribe with any more information or comments um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video